Hello, friends. So today I'm going to be talking all about long-term health. So my podcast is mainly for people who are looking for that long-term sustainable health and really ready to ditch the diets and that diet mentality. Maybe you don't know how to do that yet. Maybe you get stuck. But I'm going to be talking about why this long-term health is important and some strategies and different ways you can think about it. This is going to be more of a mindset episode. So I take some of these pieces and I do this with my one-on-one clients. Also pieces of this are in my course, Healthy Inside and Out, where I talk about practical strategies to get healthy. But it's also important that we have these mindset pieces, that we have our mind in the right place so that if we have blocks, we can overcome them. Because sometimes we don't need the practical tips like eat this for breakfast or how much protein are you eating? That's not what's stopping us. Our mind is what is stopping us. So we have to get past these blocks and remember that we are whole beings. So we have more going on in our life than just working on our exercise or just our nutrition. Some of us have kids. Some of us have older parents. Some of us have jobs. We have all these things that affect our health. So we really have to take a long view of our health. And friends, if you guys are needing a little extra support in your health journey, there's going to be a link down below where you can set up a free call with me and also a page where you can see how to work with me. So I do online personal training. We can do health coaching. I have my course. I have a lot of different options for people. So if you're not sure, schedule a free call and we can figure out what's going to work best for you and what you're actually ready for right now. Hi friends, and welcome to the Healthy Beyond 40 show. I'm Michelle, mama four and military wife, and I'm passionate about helping women get healthy from the inside out so they can feel better and live their best life. Do you feel like you're struggling to lose weight and get in shape? If you're ready to develop healthier habits, exercise consistently, and lose weight sustainably, then you're in the right place. I combine my expertise from my doctorate in physical therapy to my experience as a health coach, personal trainer, and yoga teacher to bring you actionable steps for a healthy lifestyle. No magic pill here, so lace up those shoes and get moving. So first I wanna talk about what I mean by the long view of our health. So this idea came to me as in two different places. So one, my husband and I were listening to a marriage book and they talked about taking this like long view of your marriage. A lot of times we're seeing what is right in front of our face. And also at church this past week, our pastor was doing a sermon on marriage and he was also talking about this. Sometimes when we're in a disagreement with people, we're only thinking about what we are thinking about, what is right there right now. We're not thinking about what the other person might be going through. We're not taking that whole picture. We're not zooming out. So when it comes to our health, we really have to, one, zoom out. So imagine stepping back and thinking about your health. So for someone who maybe heard, maybe I should track my macros, or maybe I should start walking more, exercising more, or doing cardio or doing strength training, some of these things that may be good, can we first zoom out So see ourselves not just now, not just in a couple months, but five, 10 years down the line. Is this something that is important for the long haul of our health? And then this is going to help us to get a lot clearer what we should do. Because what happens a lot of time in our health is we hear something. It sounds exciting. It sounds like something we can do-ish. Maybe it's a little bit easier than really changing what we need to actually change. And we start to do it and it doesn't last. Then we feel like failures and we end up on this cycle of failing. And then we think that we can't do this. We can't get healthy. So before you even start something, zoom out, take that long view, see the whole picture. How is this going to impact you? Is this something important for you to do not just three months, but a year and five years down the road? And there may be some things along the way that maybe you're not gonna do for five or 10 years, but may still be important for your health. Maybe you do wanna track your food for a few weeks to see how much protein you're getting. And you're not gonna continue with that forever, but it's going to give you that information about how much protein is in food and give you more information about what you're eating so that might be valuable to use. So I want you to think about where in your health journey do you need to focus on? So if you zoom out, 
that thing you've been thinking about, because most of us have these different ideas, is that something you should work on and continue? Or as you zoom out, do you think there's other things you really need to prioritize right now? Remember that our health is a journey. We're not going to do it all right now, nor what we're doing now may be the same 10 years from now. So maybe now you're at the point of, I'm going to cut out pop or soda, but maybe you're still having different sweets and you know you could eliminate those too, but this is where you are. So remember, health is also a journey and you're going to be at different points along the way and that's okay. If you guys have been here for a little bit, you have heard me talk about omega-3s. I have episodes on those and it's interesting that a lot of people sort of push off getting tested and or supplementing with omega-3s, even though they know that they should. They know they're not eating enough fish. They're not getting enough omega-3s. And it really takes a while to get to that point to be like, oh, yeah, like maybe I should do this. And this is another thing that if we zoom out and we also know the information about omega-3s, They help us at a cellular level, every cell in our body. They help to decrease inflammation. They help to make our cells more fluid instead of stiff. They help with heart health and all these different things. There's really so much information about them. And if we can really zoom out and take a look, we can see that omega-3s are important to get into our diet and to help our body feel better. So I encourage you that if you are not supplementing with omega-3s, make sure that you're using a high-quality omega-3. I'll share my favorite omega-3s, and they also have an at-home test where you can check your blood levels at home so you can know where you are. And then as you start supplementing, you can make sure that you're using the right dose because I'll send a second one where you can retest. So there will be a link down below for my favorite. This is a high-quality omega-3 that is not going to oxidize or taste fishy. And I'll also share the link down below for their whole health protocol. If you're someone that needs to improve gut health and you know your gut may be affecting different areas of your body, I won't go in for that. There could be a link down below where they have a really great prebiotic and I also love their multivitamins. So that can be a really easy thing to get started with. The next piece that I want to talk about when we're thinking about our long-term health, taking that long view of our health, is can we unconditionally love and accept ourselves the way we are right now? So many things we might want to change about our health, and it's okay to have that desire to improve and to work on things. But regardless of what we maybe want to improve or work on, we have to start at a place where we love and accept ourselves just the way we are unconditionally. Because it doesn't matter if you want to lose 20 pounds, you are worthy right now. And when we come from a place of love and kindness from ourselves, we're actually able to take more steps forward. And when things don't go our way, we don't get knocked down and stay down. We're able to get back up because we know that we are worthy right now, that we can unconditionally love and accept ourselves. So I know for some of you, that's like, whoa, I don't feel that at all. Or maybe you need that reminder. But I encourage you to keep this in your mind. Notice the talk and the thoughts and the feelings about yourself that you have going on in your mind. A lot of times we don't quite notice this. We don't notice all of our thoughts. We have a lot going on in our subconscious. So this can be a great thing to journal about, to work with a coach about. I do this with some of my clients because when we can start to love ourselves, we start to do good things for ourselves when it comes to our health. I've had people where they're in a place where they're just not in a good place and they don't feel worthy right now. And they've been in a pattern of sabotaging their health. So when we can start to step out of that pattern and come into a place where we know we're worthy, whether we have 20, whether we have 100 pounds to lose, whether we haven't exercised in years, decades, or maybe never, that that's okay. We can start to love and accept ourselves and feel worthy right now. Also, you know, many parenting books, they talk about loving our kids unconditionally, or God also loves us unconditionally without conditions. So this can be really hard to even do for our kids sometimes, and some kids are more difficult to love unconditionally. But as we think about that, as we want to 
love our kids unconditionally or feel God's love unconditionally. This is the same thing that we need to do for ourselves. It is being able to separate who I am and what I do, what we do, our choices that we make. And maybe we need to change some of those choices. Maybe it's going to take a while. But regardless, who you are doesn't change. You are someone who is worthy of love. You are worthy just as you are. And you are loved just as you are. We don't need to add all this garbage and all this stuff on top of it. So I hope this episode really made you think. So maybe you have some time where you can sit down and journal or talk to a friend really zoom out and what's important for your long-term health and also notice those thoughts and feelings about yourself. Do you really unconditionally love and accept yourself just the way you are now? And if not, what are those things that you need to work through? What are those thoughts that you need to work through? Are those a barrier for you actually becoming healthier? All right. And I got a big ask here, guys. If you are vulnerable enough, I hope that you head to my Facebook group, Healthy Beyond 40, and really share your takeaway from this. Share a thought that you're having that you're stuck on and that isn't serving you in your health. Because when you guys share this stuff, we can all know that we are not alone. Because sometimes when we have these negative thoughts and we are not loving ourselves, we feel really isolated and alone. And the way to break isolation, whether it's with this or other things in our life is to open those up and let them free. Share them in a safe place like my Facebook group. Also, you could share with a loved one that is a safe person to you because we have to break those thoughts down and the only way is to let them out. So I encourage you to be vulnerable, head to my Facebook group and share something that you're stuck with so that it can encourage others and so that we all know that we are not alone. All right, friends, I thank you so much for listening today. If you guys have any questions, just reach out to me on Facebook or in my group. And I hope that you guys keep on moving, keep on taking that one step forward in your health.